The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of the law. In this unique dispensation of the church age, the importance of rightly dividing the word of truth from the original languages of the scriptures and knowing the figure of speeches as well what are the right intentions of the author when he has written and what were the terms when he has been used in the classical Greek or Adic Greek, Koine Greek and to look back and to understand those things which could really emphasize the real work of a pastor teacher in the ministry of the pastor teacher under the controlling power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit is of very great importance, dear brethren. The indwelling mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, who is a divine power, who is a divine person, because some people think power in other way. Our Lord God, the Father, Lord God, the Son, and Lord God, the Holy Spirit, who has been revealed for us through the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, who is a divine person. Without the controlling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, it's not possible for us to understand what it is, how is it, and where to divide the word of the Lord accurately. The process when Apostle Paul writes, in any of the manners, either in bonds or in chains, the truth of Christ has to be proclaimed. The truth of Christ which shall upset them or set them to the cause of growing in the word of the Lord is of very great importance, dear brethren. This truth of Christ which is lacking today in our pulpit because of the negligence of the original language of the scriptures have caused many errors and wrongly handling the word of the Lord. These great errors can be corrected only when a pastor teacher makes up his mind to read from the original language of the scriptures through the dispensing technique of dispensations. Our isagogical, categorical, and exegetical explanation of the word, dear brethren. Until and unless a pastor takes the time to get back and listen and to learn and to grow up to the praise of the glory of our Lord, he cannot be revealed what is the truth in Bible doctrine. There are not enough men in the pulpits who can stand, who can really analyze and understand the power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. The power in the sense not as an influence or a source. The controlling power, that is what when Lord God, the Holy Spirit controls you, that's the controlling power over your all sin nature so that your old sin nature cannot have any other authority, but rather it should be totally suppressed when Lord God the Holy Spirit controls you, because he is a divine person. And this mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit will teach you into all the truth. And the only reason why Apostle Paul was so confident, though he would be dead, or he is in chains, the word of the Lord will be spread more clearly because you have seen the power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, what it is capable of. Irrespective of the entire hell forcing against you to be removed from this earth, it is not possible for them to remove. And then he further continues to tell in Philippians 1, it is better for you that I stay in the flesh. And that betterment is the completed canon of scripture what we are holding in the hands right now, dear brethren. The unique church age doctrine, the church corpuses, which has been there a great power source for us to understand and to rightly divide the word of truth, which is there for us to realize what is the importance of it. 
which is there for us to know and to understand what is the truth of our Lord. Is of very great importance, dear brethren, in this unique dispensation. And why is it we are not capable of understanding the simple truths? Because we don't have the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in our lives. Because you have forgotten that you have been permanently indwelled by Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Neither have made been made been known to the point of realization that you are constantly grieving and squelching Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Though He permanently indwells in you, and you are not given to Him to act. And you are still considering that you are the out of law, but you are under a new law, which is the filling ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. You are in a new law, not to grieve, not to squelch, not to lie to the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, but you are in a new law to be walking in the Spirit, living in the Spirit, and yielding to the fruit of the Spirit. And what a great truth it is for us, dear brethren, that we are neglecting that importance. We are neglecting that word. We are neglecting the enabling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in our lives. And since we are so silent and so dormant and so traitor to the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, either by thought, word, or deed, we are not in a position to understand what is the true word of the Lord and the importance of it in our lives. The things which our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ dictated to Nicodemus, he did not plead them to believe, he did not tell them to do this, but rather he gave him a straight discourse because he was a teacher of the Israelites. And the teacher knows very well what it will be the authority of Bible doctrine. And our Lord reprimanded those Israelites as well. If you are of God, you will know what is the doctrine of me, what I am teaching to you. But our believers who are there in the pulpits today, they are not of God. If they would have been really from God and true believers in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they would have taken literally whatever the word of the Lord tells to them by the dispensing technique of dispensations. Neither they are capable of believing the pastor teacher who has been given the bona fide gift to rightly divide the word of the Lord and tells you all the importance of Bible doctrine. And ending up in apostasy on one end, on the one end the Pentecostal crowd, on the one end the miracles and the saints crowd. And on the other greater end you have the scientific crowd as well, dear brother. Why will the believer go? Believer will not go anywhere until and unless he has a right and true desire with the Lord to tell, Lord, I want to have a right and true fellowship with thee. Teach me thy doctrine. As long as he fails to plead unto that Lord that great petition, so that Lord gives more wisdom, humble grace to the believer who really prays for it, who really longs for it, who really desires for it. In respect of a geographical location, Lord will provide you the information. And Lord definitely gives you that information to the praise of the glory of Christ. But as long as you fail, or as, you, as long as you really desire to feed, to send you pastors who shall feed you with knowledge and with understanding, till that time you will be jumping around, going around with X, Y, Z things that are happening around in today's Christian life. You will be so comfortable with your own lusty patterns of your fulfillment of your own carnal sentimentals, that you have forgotten what is the importance of the word of the Lord in this church. You have really forgotten what is the truth of Bible doctrine, dear brother. You have really forgotten what is the truth that we have to be handling around. And you have really forgotten what is the true purpose why I have been kept alive. And that is what is lacking today, the importance of Bible doctrine in the pulpits. There will be no importance of Bible doctrine in the pulpits until and unless there is a mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in our lives. And as long as we fail to have the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in our lives, so long you have been out, kaput. So long you have not been there here to understand the truth of the Bible doctrine. And so long you are losing the true fellowship, the true purpose of your eternal design in this church. 
Dear brethren, today's discourse is to warn you about the importance of Bible doctrine. So I'm not talking further any other things to tell to you. But rather I'm telling to you in today's discourse of the tapes. So that you can understand and realize and get back to the Bible rather than the realities that are happening around through the scientific realm. And the pastors have already become a prey for them through the Roman Catholicism doctrine. So, dear brother, and which way you want to go, you decide in the next step. We shall continue our discourse. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.